Welcome to Sfera Talks. Our guests are interesting people who live among us. And today our guest is Hassan Habib. Yes. Welcome and hello. Thank you very much. Hello. Could you please uh, tell a few words about yourself? Because I know you as a founder and a runner for many years of two mostly most successful multicultural organizations in the city of Turku, which are Yudista Yudistus and Sondip. So yes, could you please right. tell about yourself? Well, um, I'm Hassan Habib, as you mentioned. I was born and brought up in Bangladesh. Uh, I moved to Finland uh, 30 years ago. Uh, and since then I have lived in Turku. I have to work in, 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 in diverse areas. I, I worked as an interpreter in the NGO sector, as an as a local governmental official. I have I have worked for the state. I have uh, worked for university colleges and also like uh, international organization across Europe. So uh, it's 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 been a diverse kind of experience together with the path. Uh, basically, um, uh, well. People usually ask me that why why did you move to Finland? Why in the first place? That, that I wanted to ask that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. So why? Uh, well, it, I, I, I should say that. Well, I was young, and, and and it was just I would say that you know coincidence of very many things. I, I was I was thinking of going abroad and and, and do my father education, and I was trying in different places, but um, I don't know why I ended up in Finland, <laughs> and um, well. I would say that uh, it was probably better for me because um, uh, the way I, I actually got access to the society, I mean, in terms of uh, getting a job, getting the resident permit, getting the national nas uh, nationality, also the education in Finland, and, 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 and beside that, I was I was working. But uh, it was uh, rather easy for me to 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 get, I should say, established in Finland. Uh -huh. So it was 30 years ago. Yes. 1990 or yes, 1990. Uh -huh. And how old were you? I was um, 25. 25. Yes. So and you you come you come immediately to Turku. Yes, directly to Turku. Directly. Yeah. Have you been? Were you before that in other countries? Yes, I was. I was in UK. I was in Thailand. I, I went to visit India. So yeah, I have visited a few countries before coming to Finland. What did what did you what did strike you most? So you come to Finland, you you're on Finnish ground. So what what was it like? Um, it, actually, it, it's 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 my background. I was I was very much involved in politics, in student politics, um, and um, I was I was having like you know different kinds of uh, difficulties and challenges in, 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 my, in my student and political life. And, and beside that, my, my father, who demised by then, mm -hmm. and I was happened to be the eldest son of, of, of our family, and, and according to our culture, mm -hmm. um, uh, as, as the eldest son, you have to you know, carry the burden of the whole family. Yeah. How many? Like how big? Family. Well, we, we used to be like 13, six of them that died, so we, we all together um, seven. Seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to make sure that my family, they get food, my, my brothers and sisters, they, they get proper educated mm -hmm. and so on. So I had to uh, look for further opportunities in my life in order to earn more money and support my family. Mm -hmm. So that was probably the main reason why I decided by then to, to, to go abroad for, for further education, to educate myself, mm -hmm. and also, you know, to earn more money. Yeah. So what, what faculty did you start in Finland with? Well, I, I started in the technical field, but then uh, I, 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 I actually stopped it, because I was not thinking that, because I studied commerce back in, back in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So I was seeking... What type, if, if not secret? Uh, it's, it's not. It's like, a, it's like a, how, how would I say, it's like honors degree like um, after the intermediate level after you finish your college then you go to the university mm -hmm. studied uh, for for bachelor degree or, or mm -hmm. for honors so yeah. I, I completed my commerce degree so i basically studied management accounting mm -hmm. accounting and and, and 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 so on so um, 
so I was uh, in Finland. I was looking for the right direction. Mm -hmm. So uh, then I happened to meet uh, one of the one of the Finnish person who was who was working by then in 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 a uh, national uh, association uh, working for like Euro European level in European mm -hmm. Union and. Then I happened to meet some other people, those who were working for Council of Europe in the youth mm -hmm. sector. Then I, I attended one, one, one seminar which was about participation and citizenship. So it, I got the insight from, mm -hmm. that, from that seminar. That insight or inside? Insight. Insight. I-N-S-I-G-S-T. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like, so I, I thought that, well, maybe this is the thing that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Then I started the study, the, um, like youth and youth work and, 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 and uh, uh, civic work. As mm -hmm. First I finished um, uh, my, my honors, then my master's mm -hmm. in Finland. Mm -hmm. And then I started working in the youth sector. In the youth sector. Yeah. And what was the first organization that you started? Uh, I think uh, in the youth sector, the first organization that I worked for is Turku Youth Service. Mm -hmm for the local government. And what were, were they doing and what were you doing with them? Well, basically what I, I was firstly like um, hired in a project uh, which was coordinated by the social sector of the, of the city of Turku. And then uh, actually there was a no multicultural youth work concept in Finland. Mm -hmm. So back to, actually I was the one who actually took the initiative that we need to have the multicultural youth work in the Turku Youth Service. So I had to really work hard. And what was year? What year was that? Uh, was it was uh, 1997. Okay. Uh -huh. And I, I really had to prove the whole whole uh, whole department, the whole monetary group, that this is the, this is the work we need to focus on because the the, the amount of migration is increasing rapidly, mm -hmm. and we need to somehow manage the diversity and also um, the promotion of, of, of active citizenship and also the promotion mm -hmm. of integration. So I think that it took for me one and a half year to convince the department that, that we need to have multicultural youth work in, in, in mm -hmm. the city of Turku. How did you convince them? What did you tell them? Well, I was, actually, as a, as a, as a, I was like a, actually uh, overactive in all the area of the society. Mm -hmm. I, was, um, I was very much work active in the in the national youth council i was i was very much active um, in the ministry level in the mm -hmm. ngo sector and also i i i, I happened to lobby uh, the first um, multicultural youth work course in lohia like youth work college mm -hmm. and the principal was convinced that well yes we can actually module this kind of courses in in in, in lohia uh, so if you could run it and mm -hmm. implement it i said yes i will plan it i will Mm -hmm. I will implement it and I will do the report and I will, I, will, I, will, I will give you the report in order to assess the outcome of the, of the, of the five weeks courses. So uh, after that I, I actually taught in that college uh, for more than 10 years. What did you teach? Youth work basically, youth multicultural work. youth mm -hmm. work. I mean it included uh, what is actually multiculturalism, what is interculturalism, what is racism, what is xenophobia, how do you create intercultural society and how do you combat mm -hmm. phenomena, negative phenomena in the society mm -hmm. as you are working as a youth worker. So you see young people, those who are facing racism mm -hmm. and intolerance in your youth center, how do you, how do you actually seek for the help? How do you help them? I mean, how do you guide them? How do you counsel them? So it was, if, if, like, if I may no, again definitely. ask, it's so, it's so interesting. So actually, what is xenophobia? Xenophobia is actually a Greek word. Mm -hmm. Zeno, xenophobia means fear, yeah. that you are afraid of something. And xeno means foreigner, mm -hmm. that, uh, that, uh, or alien, that, yeah. that um, you do not know them, mm -hmm. you do not know their culture, so you're afraid of them. Mm -hmm. So when you are afraid of them, so what you do, you just somehow try to abandon them, do not include them, mm -hmm. or you show your anger to, towards them. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is actually xenophobia. Yeah. Is, it, uh, is it natural? Is it something that is natural for any... Because, okay, there are certain uncertainties when we meet something that we do not know, right? So sometimes people fear this uncertainty. Is 
xenophobia natural to a person? Or is it something that people learn in the society? So it goes like a cyclic order. Like, I mean, if you, I mean, you are afraid of something, which is a very a normal reaction to human being, I would say. Mm -hmm. But then you, then you somehow, um, how would I say, um, enlarge your, your fear and try to create certain kind of picture out of your fear and try to head the object or the, or the person. Mm -hmm. So that is not, that is not actually uh, neutral or, or, or normal. Mm -hmm. I would say that is actually, uh, you are taking a wrong action to somehow uh, protect your fear. Or, mm -hmm. or that that you you want to win your fear mm -hmm. rather than you you are not trying to win your fear you are trying conquer to win the person fear. yes yeah. conquer mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. is uh, xenophobia widespread in Finland yeah very much I would say yes what how how is it presented well uh, well one of my uh, colleague. He's a, uh, also, also a friend of mine. He is a youth work researcher. Um, he, he, what he mentioned while he was interviewing young people from, from different parts of Helsinki that you can have even feel the xenophobic look at human mm -hmm. beings' eyes. Mm -hmm. Racism, that they don't have to like, you know, take any action. I mean, you can see through the eyes that, mm -hmm. that somebody dislikes you. Mm -hmm. And it's you are not accepted. You are not welcome here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a, it's it's. I mean, if if you if you if you uh, take a look of 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 Finnish society, uh, the history of uh, migration in Finland, and uh, the way uh, migrants are represented in the society, in the in the, the in the in the labor market, in the job market, in the corporate sector. If you compare it to, let's say, United Kingdom or, or, or some other countries, well, well, here, like, um, you are given the job uh, in those areas while, while, where they need it. Mm -hmm. You are not actually uh, getting a job according to your skill or your merit. Mm -hmm. So that's like one, one, and like uh, recently I, I saw one, 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 one news actually that that uh, most of the Africans, more than seventy percent of the Africans, mm -hmm. they 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 faces racism, intolerance in schools, in the labor market, in Finnish schools, in, in Finnish schools, mm -hmm. yes. And um, well, it's everywhere. I mean, uh, I have lived here thirty years. It's a um, it's a it's a thing that I have. I had never felt, not even a moment, that 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 I'm equal to 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 my colleagues. I mean, I'm I'm talking about the Finnish or European colleagues. Um, it's like I have worked in an organization for more than 25 years. All in a sudden, uh, one of my colleagues asked, "When are you intending to go back?" <laughs> so it's it's um, it's it's well. Yes, you are getting a space, but you have limited rights, I would say. You have limited access to the spaces are provided in the society. There are limited means that you could, you could really participate in. Uh, you have limited resources, you have limited support mm -hmm. to, 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 to actually enjoy the 100% the integration in Finland. So it's, it's very much control that, okay, we are giving you, you observe, and some people even, even, even might feel that they're being used. They have served this country for 30 years, 20 years, 25 years, and some, all in a sudden they have a feeling that they're, they're, they're just abundant. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's I'm, not, I'm not blaming any individual or, 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 or I think it has to do with the structural thing. Structural. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, 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 has, it has to do with the mindset. Mm -hmm. um, it is deep inside. I mean, uh, giving you an example like, 
uh, the Rome, Ro the uh, how you say gypsy people, right? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Roma, 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 uh, like um, minorities here. Yeah. They have lived here like more than five hundred years. Yeah. I mean, you can even see nowadays how how they are being treated, how they are accepted in the society. So it's. Um, I remember I had a talk with you like mm -hmm. like like uh, several months ago. You just mentioned at one point that 100% that integration is impossible in Finland. I still yeah. remember that. Yeah. Uh, but do you think that uh, the underrepresented ethnic minorities in Finnish society, for instance, in certain higher standing social layers, yeah, is it because somebody doesn't want them there or because actually proficiency of Finnish language is so difficult that people cannot it, maybe in UK like English is an easier probably language to learn and to use to operate Finnish maybe it's, it's a difficult language and people coming from abroad they cannot really become proficient in Finnish so, I think it's it's mm -hmm. one way to stigmatize people mm -hmm. that that f like foreigners or migrants they don't speak proper proper mm -hmm. Finnish I know many Finnish people, they do not speak proper Finnish. <laughs> they do not know even how to you know, properly write. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you do not speak the language as good as, 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 as a native Finn, but that doesn't mean that you are stupid. Mm -hmm. Of course. You have, you, have, you have other skills. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you may know how. Even better than than other person, although 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 your your language uh, vocabulary or, or or storage is 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 a bit less than the mm -hmm. native born Finn, but I think that uh, it's not the way to to actually judge or 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 or, or evaluate a worker. Mm -hmm. I mean, why when you in all, I mean, we have different kind of jobs, right? So, uh, language is created uh, and, 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 and probably have, have evolved together with the time to, for communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, if you can make the other people understand what you are trying to say, mm -hmm. that should be enough. I mean, we are not actually doing PhD in language, Finnish language in Finland, mm -hmm. as long as it is understood Mm -hmm. is uh, more or less properly written, that should be okay. Okay, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. my opinion, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so that was xenophobia. Yeah. Uh, do you think that xenophobia is homogeneously spread in the society? Or there are certain jobs, certain social backgrounds where it is, uh, it is more prevalent than others? I, I would not like to generalize it. Mm -hmm. I would not like to say that that it's 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 like everybody is like that, or Finns are like that, or the Swedish like are like that. But um, there are elements mm -hmm. in the society. There are um, results. There are um, how would I say effects and reactions. What you what you observe together at the time in your mm -hmm. daily life. Mm -hmm. So um, so you can you can actually say that is it is it visible in the society or not mm -hmm. is it is it there or not so it's it's like um uh, in a society like in a multicultural society people probably would not ask you where do you come from mm -hmm. so it's it's like people are used to like um, each other like even, even um, I mean, I don't know how many years have you lived here. I mean, if you open your mouth and you speak in Finnish language, they'll look at you. Okay, he's not from Finland. Mm -hmm. Even like I have worked with young people, those who are born and brought up in Finland. Mm -hmm. and, and some of my young people, they said that, well, well, everybody asks me anywhere I go. Mm -hmm. They ask me, I mean, where do you come from? Mm -hmm. Then I, I usually answer that I, I do come from Turku. <laughs> Mm -hmm. People are not satisfied until I tell my father's motherland to mine. Then people are happy. If I say I'm from Africa, then okay. people are okay, okay, you're from Africa. Okay. But you are from Turku, it's, 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 it's like, it's not that simple. I mean, 
there are there are like people those who uh, like foreigners there are people those who hate foreigners there are like majority people um, they are usually very quiet mm -hmm. I, i would say the the, the middle class so uh, they are just um, they just keep their mind in a mouth shut so you actually do not know how mm -hmm. things are they they actually happy with their own life the position they have it's mm -hmm. fine so somebody is like getting offended in the street or not getting their rights equally mm -hmm. um, they say okay it's, it's not our problem but any time you want to raise your voice like in finland you are you are you are not happy that well, mm -hmm. well this is not right this is mm -hmm. not uh, equality this is not like then the answer would be well go back to your home country then mm -hmm. yes. so mm -hmm. then end up conclusion so you cannot actually discuss any farther that that inequality take places in in in, in finland people are being uh, oppressed they are being treated uh, bad so it, it ends up like well finland is a uh, fin finnish situation is much better than other countries Mm -hmm. well that is we know that mm -hmm. that is not what we are trying to tell here mention mm -hmm. here we are telling that not all people are equal they don't get the you know opportunity mm -hmm. similar kind of opportunity access mm -hmm. to the society mm -hmm. so but it's it's a difficult thing it's uh, as i as mm -hmm. i mentioned it's it's it's, it's a kind of structure and in the in the in the in the, in the, in the on the other hand it's the mindset so it, it's very difficult to change it i mean unless you know, one you know do not want to change thyself but if if we want to change this what first three steps would be how to change the structure because i think that mindset will sort of uh, it's it's also sort of reciprocal thing So you change the structure, the mindset will keep up with the changes, and yeah, of course. I mean, I I I I believe that 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 changes are taking place, has taking place, and will take place. Well, that's mm -hmm. because uh, nothing remains as it's like in like original you know form. Mm -hmm. So pe 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 uh, people and also the society do change it, but how long it will take and which di direction it will take? Because uh, before. 2000 like um, uh, we we had a strong belief that we are we're heading to the right direction i was i was attending the world conference in south africa as a, as a, as a representative of or advisor from finland as an advisor from finland and, and we were really hopeful that we are we are really you know heading towards the right direction but then something happened in america bush government came I don't want to talk about politics. Mm -hmm. Everything went upside down. Think the 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 the, the, the recent development uh, in Europe, uh, all across uh, the world, mm -hmm. how diversity and and multiculturalism are appreciated, how the right wing um, uh, power, I should say, not I would not I would like to say that political party, the right wing uh, thinking. Uh, extremist thinking are, are, are arising or has aroused in recent years and and out of out of a result and out of that how many people has really suffered mm -hmm. nobody actually cares so uh, I'm, I'm not actually sure that that uh, that um, that changes obviously will take place but um, is it for good or not I don't have that answer for that. But what to do so that we have changes for good? But as 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 probably you know that life is a constant struggle. Mm -hmm. So if you are if you are like fighting for the good things, the, you have to you know keep on fighting, keep on combating mm -hmm. to 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 establish your argument and 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 and. and, and and fulfill uh, the the hope you you and and the society has and and uh, of course there are other groups those who are mm -hmm. uh, opportunities those who are seeking for their own good mm -hmm. doesn't matter mm -hmm. uh, does other one get hurt or not so uh, they will probably work as as equally as you do mm -hmm. as 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 hard as, as 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 we do so it's a constant fight i think that society will 
will probably never become a perfect one because uh, because we human being we we never learn what happened in in first world war what happened in second world war and still the way we we talked we we we, we try to attack each other you know other nations so so we actually yeah, it's, it's, it's human but, nature. But, but I agree with you that we need to fight, we need, you know, the struggle. But in what direction? So what exactly should we do? Should we make more uh, mixed uh, courses or courses of multiculturalism or what to do? It's, it's let's start with human dignity. Mm -hmm. let's, let's work with human, human rights. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we, have to, we have to, like, uh, respect... The, the human rights, the human dignity, that um, all human beings are, are, are born equal and they, they should be you know, treated equally. And, and, and should all the be, rights... Should it be in the school already or in everywhere. the kindergarten? Start with the Starting kindergarten from special home, courses from, yeah, of from, human rights. Like, yes, mm -hmm. but the fact is education is good. Mm -hmm. It's one way. Mm -hmm to ch bring the change, but it's, 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 it's not enough. You have to practice it, you understand? Yeah. So, so as, as it is said that um, uh, you can become a good trainer if you are properly trained. So mm -hmm. if you learn something and do not practice it, then it doesn't go hand to hand. Mm -hmm. So you, we really have to practice because um, I have like organized probably you know hundreds of you know seminars, exchanges, training courses, events in Turku mm -hmm. and all uh, across the Europe. Yeah. Uh, but fact is, uh, who is participating? Who? The the same people over and over. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't actually get in touch with those people, those who really have the attitude problem towards diversity. Why does it happen? I, I do not know. Because, um, I, as I said, it's, 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 it's in the structure and it's the mindset. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's... How many Finnish people do you have? Finnish friends do you have? How long have you lived here in Finland? You might have few. Mm -hmm. But um, the city I was born, I used to know the whole city. Mm -hmm. So you understand the difference here. So you... you you can have a place here in the society. Uh, you can you can be accepted among few people, but you are not accepted by everybody. But maybe uh, Finns will tell you the same. That actually, I also like well say some Finnish person. I also have only a few friends. I have two friends. He will say or she will say, and uh, it's how we live here. We do not have we do not know the whole city, and we do not care to know the whole city. Can this it be possible? Is, this is my point. It's in mm -hmm. the mindset. Mm -hmm. So as a, as a, as a, as a result, mm -hmm. it's, it's like if Finns do not feel like Finland as their home, how a foreigner could have the feeling of belonging. But maybe it's how they feel their home. It's okay for them to have like, you know, three friends and it's okay. It's already like four friends will be too much, for instance. But I think mm -hmm. I, I would like to disagree with that mm -hmm. because, uh, I mean, do you have an option? I mean, do you offer them, I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Do you have the possibility to become happy? You understand? So if one just uh, argue that, well, I'm sad, I'm miserable, mm -hmm. and I accept it, this is my life, this is how I am. But my question is, okay, fine, I respect mm -hmm. your point of view, mm -hmm. but is there any other possibilities or options for an individual mm -hmm. to become something else than what it is, what he or she is? Do you understand my point? Yeah, I absolutely understand, but I, I might see how uh, Finnish people can see it. They say, I, I'm not miserable. I have three friends and it's enough. I don't need a fourth friend because three friends give me enough happiness I need in this life. And uh, I don't need to know all these people in the city. I'm okay with that. 
So it might be also it it might be the mindset that is not miserable, that is not unhappy. Oh, that, that was an example, yeah. miserable. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. an example. Yeah. I just gave an example, but I think that that it's it's when you talk about again about the multicultural society, mm -hmm. so or intercultural society or a diverse society, so it should follow the norms of all the culture. It's not only how the Finn, you know, mm -hmm. would like to think or how they feel about themselves. Because, uh, of course, I mean, if you want to talk about integration, that, of course, the possibility has to be given by the majority society. But also the majority society has to learn new things from the new, new culture, new society. Because if everybody, Finland is a kind of, uh, you know, society, we have this and this and this. So meaning, a person coming from different culture mm -hmm. and different religion, mm -hmm. so if the person wants to get integrated, mm -hmm. so actually it's not integration, it's assimilation. So he or she has to forget everything that she, she has with him or her and accept the new one because this is how we work. But that's, that's not the condition of the multicultural society. Multicultural society means that you just don't have one way of living or understanding things. You have a diverse way of living and sharing things. I understand, but I can, I can argue uh, from a different perspective. So, for instance, people, that, like, people coming with their culture, with their norms, and for not only Finnish, society, but I would say in general Western European society, certain norms are considered barbaric. For instance, uh, female circumcision. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, right. and I mean, like, you cannot just say, okay, it's okay for, for you to <coughs> come and we will try to circumcise our women so that you feel nice no, and no. welcome. Or, for instance, uh, having several wives. Again, yeah, yeah. it's considered a norm in, in certain parts of the world, polygamy. Mm. It's not considered a norm. It, it, actually, in Sweden, it's, it, it's okay if you come from other country. And no, no. Well, I, but I, my purpose. What norms? What norms? How no, what, can what, we say what, what that? I, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was um, uh, talking about the good things that we can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, respecting the law of the country. Mm -hmm. So uh, that go, goes above, above everything. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say, it's, it's, um, uh, um, let's, I, I, let me try to, let me, uh, let me give you one example, like mm -hmm. preparing rice, right? Yeah. This is the way you prepare rice. I can prepare it in a different mm -hmm. way. So the same outcome is there. Mm -hmm. But it can be done in different ways. So yeah. that's my purpose. Uh, meaning, um, doing things, accepting things, uh, learning things, uh, creating new values mm -hmm. can be, uh, can include elements from different cultures. Mm -hmm. And we create the new culture together because, you know, people actually yeah, create the... Heterogeneous, the, yeah. the, the new hybrid culture yes. that will be more rich even, yeah, right? Yeah. What would you, uh, from the cultures that you know, from Bangladesh, from probably Asian countries, yeah. what would you want to integrate into the Finnish culture? What norms or what... Um, well, ways of cooking rice, no, uh, well, to that. I think that um, sympathy, empathy, empathy, mm, mm -hmm. like um, doing things in a more human way, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, solidarity. Solid. solidarity, collectivism, you yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, collectivism, yes, um, 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 and also like. Um, like you know show your mercy mm -hmm. not like um, not like you know punishing people like you know mm -hmm. people uh, make mistakes or 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 people uh, many times make mistakes without mm -hmm. even knowing you know uh, give people possibilities to learn things and and and, and to to get included mm -hmm. so not like you know um, 
abandoning people, stigmatizing people, blaming people, oppressing people, you know, you know, exclude people and so on and so forth. So it's um it's um it's uh, the fin Finland is, you know, uh, in in many ways, fin Finland is much advanced than Bangladesh or India. Um, I, I'm nobody to tell, you know, what what uh, they should learn. But what I would appreciate, mm -hmm. from my personal point of view, it's it's um, it's like uh, everything is for us, like uh, as as a as a collective meaning. Um, Living together, doing things together, acting together, you know, mm -hmm. uh, keeping touch with each other, uh, mm -hmm. sharing, caring, and loving. Mm -hmm. So that makes life uh, much richer. So enrichment, sort of. Yeah, of. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's um, new experiences. Yeah, it's, new it's not that I have to I have to succeed. Let's succeed together. You know, mm -hmm. as as it is said that together we care, together we thrive. Mm -hmm. So like. Um, yeah, winning is a competition is a very nice thing. I'm the you know, best, best, mm -hmm. best, best. But at the end of the day, you are just alone there. But again, as, yeah, as, know, as, yeah. as point, like you know, sort of counter arguing, mm -hmm. the most individualistic country, the most competitive country, United States of America, is also the most prosperous country. Can individualism uh, versus collectivism? be one of the keys to development of the economy, to development of modern ways of medicine, science. Can it be that actually this individualism is not that bad? But, but the, the question is, uh, what price do you pay for that? Hmm. I'm not saying that either or, mm -hmm. neither nor. I'm mm -hmm. saying that, uh, well, everything has its price. So, so what price America pays? I mean, look at the news. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, the situation. Mm -hmm. Look yeah, at look at look now. at the way look at the things are going. Look at the way they are they are they are like you know uh, withdrawing themselves from World Health Organization and then blaming other countries. This is not the way, actually. You know, just to make profit or 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 or, or, or you know be the winner of the world or or the country or you know. But, but I mean, like this withdrawing. You, you, you just you just lose the harmony of, of, of living. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. But for instance, this withdrawing or these many negative things, they probably come from the political establishment. But individualism, it's also behind Apple, behind Google, behind Facebook, behind many um, fantastically successful endeavors that make but, our life better. But I mean, uh, think of Facebook or, or Google or, or Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Microsoft, mean, of course. My, yeah. yeah, so it's not one person who is actually taking the company on the top. Absolutely, but there is a leader. There is Steve Jobs, there is Bill Gates, there is leader. Zuckerberg. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely, but still, mm -hmm. it's, it's a community in the same mm -hmm. time. So actually, uh, like Bill Gates, what, what uh, he talked about pandemic long time ago, he actually donated millions of dollars. Yeah, that dollars. was fantastic. Like, yeah. so, so I think that um, um, although he made profit, he, he, he got, you know, probably earned like billions of dollars, but, but he had some good purpose. And, and uh, I think that um, Bill Gates can be, can be one example that Although you are very individualistic, but you can show your collectivism in another way, doing good. Well, he did. He, yeah. He's a fantastic yeah. fellow, actually, yeah. and what he's doing is, is, is fantastic. Uh, togetherness. Yes. You just there was before Sandeep, or how? Yes, before it was. Sandeep. Why? How, how? What was the idea? How did it come to you? Well, actually, um, there was a project in, 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 in the social office in, in Turku, so I was, I was involved with that project. So uh, uh, I think that the project ended at the end of 1997 and uh, we few fellows like one was from Vietnam another was from 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 Kurdistan me few Finnish of our colleagues and we we wanted to you know carry on the good work the project mm -hmm. was doing by then 
And we actually initially established one, one, one in a forum that will we'll mm -hmm. create some magazines talking about multiculturalism, you know, uh, try to create some events so that people could come and get yeah. to know about other cultures and, and, and so that so people could live uh, uh, in harmony together. So that was the purpose. So uh, working uh, together with the you know, team for a few months, then we decided that we have to establish one, one association and, and, and we did it. Mm -hmm. In 1998, I do not remember the the, the month, but um, yeah, we we few few people established the association, and, and initially we did not had any 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 like uh, space, but then we got the space from the city. Mm -hmm. City contributed um, with the with the with the with the with space. Then we applied for funding. From from uh, from the EU, from Elukeskus, uh, then mm -hmm. we uh, got the funding from Rahal mm -hmm. and uh, and since then we actually we actually uh, did very many very many good jobs in Turku. We used to be in the city center, then we are in Udenmankatu, then we moved to Lauste, and from Lauste we moved to moved to Varisla. Mm -hmm. Um, under this library, yeah. you probably know. So, of course. And um, we we managed to got the funding from 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 uh, different sectors, and, and and we we managed to you know carry on our work. And we were actually very renowned, um, like uh, in in Finland and and even uh, from from the parliament, we were invited. Mm -hmm to comment on the integration law while while yes mm -hmm. they were trying to revise the revise the law and, and we were asking when was them. that uh, it was probably many year i think mm -hmm. was it like how should i say was it 2006 or something yeah i mm -hmm. I, I, I don't recall but uh, i was there i was i was talking there um, yeah it i but uh, we always had had like Good people on board, and I would mm -hmm. like to say that some some good Finnish people, mm -hmm. those who are really devoted to 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 carry on the work and and, and wanted to see a different Turku mm -hmm. uh, for the for the for the next generation. So more, yeah. multicultural, more multicultural. More multicultural. Yes. Yes. If you, if it's like it was a long, it's been a long journey. Long journey. It's a long yes. journey. Yes. What. What were the most emotional moments from your you just uh, uh, this history? Well, um, I was I was a, I was a chair for 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 together association. I, I would say that for more than ten or eleven years. Mm -hmm. Then uh, then all in a sudden uh, there was a pressure on me that uh, that I cannot. From outside, not mm -hmm. from the association. Mm -hmm. From outside, that that uh, that you cannot uh, continue as a chair. Then then why? Uh, because you are working for certain organization, mm -hmm. so it's contradictory. Mm -hmm. So um, according to my understanding, uh, you know, uh, working uh, not working, you know, acting as a volunteer in, in, in the NGO sector, it's the freedom. It's mm -hmm. it's it's like you know. Freedom of uh, uh, participating in in, in the civic mm -hmm. civic life, so uh, no one can actually uh, forbid that for you except the court. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I was told that um, that if you carry the civic activities, you have to you know, mm -hmm. quit your job, or you know, we will put you some 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 other sector. It was somebody in the city who told. No, no, no. no. I'm not. I'm not I, okay. I, I, it's 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 it's, okay. it's not important. Okay. The point was like uh, then. Uh, it was very nostalgic because I was kind of afraid, not for me, because there were like uh, by then I think there were like one, two, three, four workers. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that oh my God, what what is going to happen to mm -hmm. these people? I mean, they will probably lose their job and then the yeah. organization will will collapse. But um, I had a good friend, like uh, you probably know now, he's the chair. So I, I discussed this issue with the board and and, uh, mm -hmm. and and told them that well, I have to I have to you know pull back and mm -hmm. um, step aside. Uh, would you like to you know carry on and right. run that? And and I, I I just provided my support and it's still mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So it was a very emotional moment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any other 
Moment. Yeah, yeah, similar thing happened. A couple, happened. Of, a couple of other things yes, that were yeah. very emotional for yeah. you, can you remember? Uh, in my personal life? Or no, in Ugdista, during this Ugdista times yeah. that happened to the organization or some... Yes, help. another another like emotional moment for, for me was like, I think um, we were by then in, in, in Lauste and one of the Iranian lady was uh, who was working by then not working as a, as a practitioner in Turku Ammati Institute. Mm -hmm. So I used to know the principal. So uh, we had a we had a vacancy. Yeah. So I, I talked to the principal that well we have a job for this lady, mm -hmm. and, and 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 could you please spare her? So mm -hmm. she will actually get a real real like working yeah, yeah. place. And by then it was very difficult for a migrant to get a job. Mm -hmm. It was impossible. Mm -hmm. So, um, and he said, uh, I think he's retired now, Matti Hapan, and I can actually tell his name. I said, yes, yes, Hassan, of course, as, as she's getting the job, please take uh -huh. her. So, um, she came to work with us and then she faced very many difficulties and, 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 and I tried to, she used to call me brother. Mm -hmm. She's like a bit older than, I have worked with, with her children as well, they are my young people, I took them to UK. I took them to Russia, St. Mm -hmm. Petersburg, you know, to do the youth activities. And at one moment, I, I don't remember the year, probably it was 2013 or 2014 or something like that. Uh, the funding ended. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could not offer her a job. Mm -hmm. And I knew uh, it was, um, I, I'm not going to tell her name. Uh, and, uh, she got separated from 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 her husband, and mm -hmm. and, and uh, she had like lots of debt, mm -hmm. uh, the bank and and so on. And, and I was it was I was like you know, I was I was so emotional. I mean I could not stand in front of her. That mm -hmm. I mean, what is going to happen with her? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was also like very emotional emotional mm -hmm. moment. And that another one like um, yeah, oh, another person like. Leang Fong, who was like a founder member of the Together Association, mm -hmm. uh, he he left to America like long time ago. Mm -hmm. I even forgot him, you mm -hmm. know. And all in a sudden, one of our worker, like she was visiting visiting uh, America, and and, and 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 she came back to Together Association and gave me a lighter uh -huh. that uh, Fong has sent one gift to you, mm -hmm. a lighter. Oh, it was also very emotional. Mm -hmm. He still remembers. Yeah. Okay, so Sondeep started in parallel to Ugdista. No, how, uh, Sondeep how? was founded like uh, in 2006. Mm -hmm. It was actually, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a need assessment. Uh, need? Uh, need assessment. Okay. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was, um, it was done by the Turku city, the employment office and the NGO sector in Turku. Mm -hmm. So um, we had like... Um, a seminar on boat, like mm -hmm. uh, all the NGO sector, the government, local government sector, and the state governmental mm -hmm. officials were invited. And on the seminar, we were discussing that um, is there a need of an umbrella organization in Turku? Mm -hmm. And um, everybody, well, at the end of the day, everybody said yes. We, then we had like very many strategic. Um, meetings and, and, and it was a like Sondi was established to actually come to a triangle cooperation between the city of Turku, the NGO sector and the employment office. Which office? Employment office. Employment, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Employment, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, in order to achieve like um, very influential uh, communication, mm -hmm. Uh, access to the working life in terms of participation mm -hmm. and promoting multiculturalism. Yep. So like, uh, so the city was actually uh, really pushing hard and also the employment office. There was this project called Promenio project. The worker had this agenda like mm -hmm. to establish this, um, this uh, NGO and, and uh, I think that um, out of this work and, 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 and plannings, Sundeep was established in 2006. And uh, I, before establishing the you know, association, all mm -hmm. in a sudden this, uh, this, uh, the project director 
asked me, Hassan, could you please um, facilitate the whole meeting? Mm -hmm. I said, yes, I could do that. So I was, uh, I was actually, you know, facilitating the process and then mm -hmm. and, and, um, all in a sudden my name was proposed that um, mm -hmm. Hassan is going to be the uh, president and I was, um, it was accepted and since then mm -hmm. I was, I was a uh, president um, in Shandib until 2015 mm -hmm. when I was asked that, um, that you cannot be the president anymore. I said, why? He said, yeah. well, well, this is this and that. And that. Uh, well, then I, I understood all in a sudden that I have less power. Mm -hmm. So uh, people, those who are demanding that, they probably did not have uh, the knowledge that mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, the creation of Shandip, it was a cooperation between, between uh, the city mm -hmm. uh, employment office and the NGO sector. So it's, it's their will that mm -hmm. Shandip actually was existing and, mm -hmm. and, and providing different kind of possibilities to the, to the citizens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then I, I was actually, I was, I was an honorary president in Shondip. I, I, I stepped back for, 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 for two years, but then it was a very chaotic situation once again. And, you know, it's like managing a team. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not an easy task. No, it is not. It's so so uh, then I was again elected. Uh, and... Um, yeah, and uh, for the next two years, then, then um, I decided myself that later on that, well, it's probably time for me to mm -hmm. stay a bit back. And uh, I'm, I'm on the board, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not the president anymore. But it's still like um, what Shandip has, 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 has done for, for the, you know, NGO sector in Turku and all, also, also for the city, I mean, it's a tremendous work. I think it yes. is, it, it yeah. has been and yeah. it still is. I, it is number one actually in yeah. multicultural we, 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 issues. We went to Tampere, we went to Ivaskula. They, they were also like trying to, you know, uh, uh, establish similar kind of association. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they consulted us. We went to Tampere, mm -hmm. we went to Ivaskula, and and also like uh, one NGO, a national one, was like. Uh, Trying to trying to form a new association like by then, and we were invited, mm -hmm. consulted that how to mm -hmm. manage this kind of association, what to do, what not to do. So yeah, yeah, I think that the biggest achievements of Sundip during this. Well, <coughs> you know, monitory. I've heard monitory is it's just like. Um, People, uh, as the city actually provides counseling services. Of course, yes. Yeah, yes, now in, I In 10 or mm -hmm. and, uh, 12 languages. So it was actually a cooperation between the city mm -hmm. and an and, 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 and outcome of a good negotiation between mm -hmm. city and Shandip. So, so we provide actually the, 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 the counselors, the advisors mm -hmm. are, 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 are mm -hmm. like hired by Shandip. But they are working for city actually. Yeah. So it's outsourcing. Okay. Yeah. Any other achievements like that major? Because Sundeep is like everybody knows. I think everybody knows Sundeep. But from like, your um, inside perspective, um, like if you if you uh, talk about the visibility of multiculturalism, mm -hmm. not only in Turku, also in the southwest Finland, and also like in, in the ministry level. So. So Shandip actually uh, was visible and, 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 and also uh, um, I should say that um, it, it actually made a change mm -hmm. in, in, in the city, uh, I think both together association and the multicultural associations can hire people can be a position in the employer. Yeah, that's true, yeah. In a negotiable, like, in a partner. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, viable and li liable pa partner, like in the, in, yeah, partnership, yeah. I would say, yeah, yeah. If we think about employment in yeah. Turku and in Finland and employment of uh, new citizens of Finland, which uh, ethnical backgrounds are better employed than others. Is there any statistics or perception of this? There, there can be, but uh, I'm not familiar with that because, you know, 
they are making like different kind of static six mm -hmm. and, and so on. But I would say the Estonians, mm -hmm. um, Bosnians, are the best among the employees. Uh, in the city of Turku, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, if you talk about Bosnian communities, most of them are, are, are working. Mm -hmm. Like maybe less than two or three percent are not working or something like uh -huh. that. So uh, they are all basically employed. They are most of them, uh -huh. but there can be no different reasons for different individuals mm -hmm. not to not to not to be at work. But uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, like um, uh, people from Kosovo, mm -hmm. they have they have uh, they have done a huge improvement mm -hmm. in, the, in the corporate sector and also in the, in the working mm -hmm. life. Uh, also, like I would say that. Asian people in general like uh, uh, accept people coming from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Few, few, few uh, people are doing quite well. Actually, mm -hmm. people are hardworking. So, mm -hmm. but let's give an example about the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. uh, people are really, you know, working hard and and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and doing different kind of things and managing. Uh, but I think that. In the in the IT sector, mm -hmm. I would say Indians or Bangladeshis, they are mm -hmm. Sri Lankans, they are they are they are doing good. Russian people are are are, 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 are mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I would say the most of the most of them are okay, but there are some, of course, yes, <laughs> yeah, of course. It, I, I I do not know that you know exact figure, but um, but still, I mean, uh, among the migrant groups, mm -hmm. there are huge potentials. Mm -hmm. Think uh, once, like I mean, uh, I'm giving. I was one person. Mm -hmm. I was I was doing my work, running my unit, and I also I was running three different associations. You know, creating yeah, projects, yeah, fantastic. creating yeah. projects for mm -hmm. them, managing you know all the yeah. stuff. Um, so I think that there are lots. Of, I know lots of people among 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 the minority communities. They have got lots of potential, mm -hmm. but they're not simply given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I was, I was talking one fellow like um, he's um, he has completed his his um, his masters in, in from the IT department and he just said that well he has uh, like probably applied for four hundred working places four hundred four hundred mm -hmm. and he was not being even interviewed once so it's mm -hmm. okay he doesn't speak. Uh, Finnish, well, he's very fluent in, in, in English, and, mm -hmm. and I think F Finland is a very advanced country. I mean, I language, heard. language, not majority speaks fantastic English. English. So say, I think yeah. that, mm -hmm. but I think that um, again, I would say that it's it's probably probably the mindset, mm -hmm. because once I was I was um, in a in a in a monitoring group, in a project in the in the in the, in the, in the University of Applied Science. I don't recall the name of the project. So, so the project was about to find um, and the, the the internee places in different mm -hmm. you know different working places in the corporate sector. Yeah. Also, in the same time, the the job opportunities in in, mm -hmm. in different corporate sector. It was very difficult to even uh, to give to to get a place for. For, for doing their you know, work practice, mm -hmm. because most of the you know companies say, no, no, it's English, no, 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 we don't want. Mm -hmm. do, so do, they, do they say it openly, or they just um, do not invite a person for an interview? Or I how, think how I it, think openly because openly. they were communicating. The Finnish people are communicating among themselves. So mm -hmm. I was sitting in the monetary group. I, I I did not do an interview directly, but mm -hmm. it was discussed in our monetary monitoring group that yet it is even difficult to get a. You know, practitioner place in the in the in the corporate sector. Mm -hmm. How it's mm -hmm. possible to get in a real real job? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, how many ethnicities are there in Turku? More than hundred. More than hundred. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, more than one hundred fifteen. I would say the language group. You know, different languages spoken in, in, in Turku. Amazing. Yeah. It's how amazing. how these ethnic groups uh, communicate between themselves? Uh, I remember. I remember. For me, uh, it was it was 
quite an interesting moment. I have a friend who is uh, okay from one of the parts of former Yugoslavia, and for uh, and that was another person from another part of former Yugoslavia, and. Uh, me stereotyping, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, they come from the former Yugoslavia, okay. and then yeah. like one tells me, ah, it's impossible to deal with him because he comes from. Yeah. So how how is it like you know who communicates better with whom, who dislikes whom? But I, I think that it it is it is it is mostly depending uh, on the maturity level of of of, of an individual, mm -hmm. how uh, well educated the person is the kind, kind of environment he used to mingle mm -hmm. and he is mingling nowadays. Mm -hmm. What is his social situation nowadays? Is he bitter? Mm -hmm. Is he succeeded? So this all actually actually matters. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I would like to say that mostly, well, because if you, mm -hmm. if you think uh, of a school in Varishwa, mm -hmm. Let's say normally go to our, our Varishwa, Varishwa school. Um, so well, most of the most of the students, pupils, they are they are sixty or forty percent of them are coming mm -hmm. from you know some other part of the world mm -hmm. than, than from Finland. Well, they they get along quite well. They go to my son, including myself. They go to the you know football field. They play together. Yeah, yeah, that's well, true. It's well, there are there are some 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 misunderstanding. There are some contradictions. But we human being, I mean, we love to quarrel with each other. So <laughs> it's, uh, it happens. You just have some tint sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you working at now? For the moment, actually, <clears throat> I am doing uh, three different work. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm working as an interpreter and translator. So From which languages to which? Uh, mostly nowadays it's Bengali and 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 and, and Finnish mm -hmm. and Finnish and Bengali. But I used to work from Hindi to Finnish and mm -hmm. also English to Finnish and and Finnish to English. But my English has really gone you know worse because I don't use it nowadays. Mm -hmm. Most of the time in Finnish language. And um, so the second work I do I do in the international level. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, I work as a trainer, as a facilitator, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in different training courses, seminars, <coughs> and 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 and, and symfo symposiums. <coughs> Third thing that I I just uh, started this job <coughs> a few months ago because it was really kind of very interesting. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's to develop a. a a community center, mm -hmm. start up, you know, a community center um, with the values of interculturalism and multiculturalism in a, in a, in a, in a suburb in Turku. So I found that uh, project very interesting and, and I applied for that and I got that job. So for mm -hmm. the moment, <coughs> I'm doing that. Okay. So this is, this is like three things I'm doing. Yeah. Thank you very much. And now the, the Lewis Carroll Blitz. Well, if I know. <laughs> So, why is a raven like a writing desk? I don't know. Where can I find someone normal? You have one here. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> one, yes. Uh, make up rule 42. Well, be clean. Okay. What makes the world go round? I think it's, um, it's the hope. Hope. Who in this world are you? Come again. Who in this world are you? Um, Who are you in this world? I'm an actor. Actor? Yeah. The best way to explain is? To explain. To be in dialogue. <laughs> in dialogue. Yeah. What would happen if everybody minded their own business? Well, then we do not have a common uh, business. <laughs> One of the deep secrets of life is to be happy. What to do if you want to get to a place you want to be? I'll be satisfied. Thank you very much.
all the best to you, all the success to your endeavors, and thank you for what, what you have done already. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sergei. And that's all talks. I hope the same for you. Thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. And that's all talks for today. Have a great tomorrow. Thank you.